Hi everyone, Jenny Marples here from pushingtherightbuttons.blogspot.co.uk So, a video. This time I'm looking at design and composition of cards, seeing how we can make a balanced design. I tend to start with 6x6 six six cards, usually white, as my base. And then you'll see that I've cut a number of different layers of different sizes that I'm actually going to place onto this to create something of a balanced design. So the first layer, the largest, distressed with inks and paints. There's also some stenciling on there and a little bit of stamping. And then I've also matted and layered it onto cardstock. It's good to mat and layer your elements because that way you can actually draw the focus onto them and they look more professional. Now, the next element is smaller, chalkboard. Usually people will go for covering up the biggest blank spaces they can, so that's what we'll do this time. Obviously you're going to see none of these pieces are actually stuck down, so there may be a bit of moving around of these items. So then we're on to the smaller details, a fussy cut book and pen that have been coloured in with distress inks. Again placed to cover up a blank spot at the bottom of the card and then the sentiment again covering up another blank spot on the background. Finally we've got these card pieces again they've been fussy cut into ribbon shapes. Again they're being placed so as to cover up the final remaining pieces of white card. Again they do coordinate as you'll see a little more tricky to place with not being stuck down. But there we have our final card design. But what's your eye drawn to? Is it the cards at the the books at the front? Is it the sentiment? Is it the stenciling around the side or is it the chalkboard element? You're trying to think about where the eye is being drawn to and at the moment your eye is being drawn to all sorts of elements on the card and not necessarily the thing that you want your recipient to focus in on. So let's approach this now in a different way. I take a lot of inspiration from scrap layouts um, and if you go online you'll very often find scrap layouts there that you can draw inspiration from. We start with our blank layer, yet again our base layer. Um, again we look at the big spot but also do we have to always cover up the blank space? There's items on there that I'm not too happy with, bits of stenciling, bits of paintwork that haven't really gone to plan. So instead of worrying about the covering up some of that lovely background that's been stenciled, how about place the chalkboard item over the top of part of it? You can still see the stenciling. Now I really liked where the books were before over the chalkboard. So once again we'll put that element on top of some of the stenciling and the chalkboard and then of course our real focal point. This is the reason you're sending this card. It's to say congratulations to somebody. So let's put it in a central spot. You'll notice the white from the chalkboard around actually draws the eye towards that sentiment now. Then finally we've got these ribbon pieces that we need to actually help the eye be drawn into the congratulations with. So once again with a little bit of fiddling around we're going to use those ribbon pieces but instead of trying to cover up the white or worry about covering up any of the background we're going to use them in a way that direct your eye when you first look at this card. So you'll see just layering up behind the chalkboard black background but using them to draw the eye in towards the main sentiment you'll see it's a bit difficult when it's not being stuck down but we get there in the end
Okay, you can see it drawing the eye in there. And then finally replacing those books, which look just perfect there. Okay, so that looks to be everything in place now. Pretty much before I've stuck it down. Yeah, you'll notice I'm forever fussing. But that's the problem when you don't stick things down. Okay. It's good to play with your elements actually before you do stick them down so that you really are happy with your design rather than putting things in place and then being unhappy but not being able to do anything with them. So what do you now look at when you look at this card? Your eye immediately goes to the congratulations. That's the main purpose of the card. OK, let's recap. Use vertical or horizontal elements to pull the eye towards the sentiment. Detailed items and your lovely backgrounds add interest to that card, but remember the focal point. Don't worry about covering things up. There's still enough detail there that people can see the work that you've put into making this card. Embrace the space, that's what I say. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, make sure you let me know. Now for all of those dying to see some close-ups of the stenciling, the chalkboard and all the other items, I've made sure there's a few at the end of the video. Thanks for dropping by.